I think people can understand that environmental problems are by their very nature cross-boundary. You know, they don't just queue up at borders waiting for their passports to be checked. And therefore we need that kind of cross-boundary response to things like air pollution, climate change and so on. On top of that, of course, some of our most um, tough nature protection comes from the EU, the Habitats Directive, the Birds Directive. You know, there's evidence that shows that the Birds Directive has been absolutely critical in terms of protecting some of our rarest species. So if you want a, a minimum bottom line of environmental standards right across the EU, so you don't have corporations trying to play one country off against the other by trying to drive down environmental standards, then that makes the EU level absolutely crucial. I think a strong Remain vote is an absolutely crucial signal that we will not be cowed by this rise of the right that we're seeing, the authoritarian right uh, across the EU. I think these are dangerous times and the best way that we can make sure that we're giving out a signal that actually Europe is about building bridges, not building walls, is to make sure that there really is a strong vote for Remain on the 23rd of June. Let's just get out there on the doorsteps in the streets and just really make the case that staying inside the EU makes life better for people, you know, whether that is to do with the quality of the air we breathe, the workers' rights that we have at work, whether it's to do with the fact that our mobile phone charges are, are, are cheaper. You know, there's a, a million different ways in which our membership of the EU is a positive thing, and I think we've got to get out on the doorsteps and make that case.